What's up everyone, it's DA here, hope you guys are doing great, hope you are doing fantastic. Now unless you're living under the rock, you will know right now that Amish is no longer on state of the game for Division 2. I will be one of the first ones to say that I couldn't care less what Amish does, but we also have to educate ourselves on the basics and inner workings of any major corporation or organization. What Amish or anyone inside Massive does is first and foremost dictated and directed by the leadership at Massive and Ubisoft. So Amish cannot control what he does and which project he is moved onto. As of this moment, Amish is a content lead at Massive Ubisoft. This means his job is to oversee content design, some ideas and even some looks on other games, things outside of just Division 2. This doesn't mean he has all the power or does everything, but it means that he can no longer be focused on one small project like The Division 2. When you have a big project like Avatar which is getting closer to its end of development, ideally they will start pulling all the talents together to focus on that one game. And of course when we look at the situation with Division 2, the studio thought the game will be over for at the end of Season 4, so a lot of people were already moved on to other projects starting around November or even December last year before people were even informed about some of the other things going on at Massive. These developers cannot tell you every move because they have to follow a company policy. And sometimes a lot of these company policies include not divulging information on social media. I'm sorry Division fans, but you cannot blame Amish for this one or any of this ones. You can't even blame any of the developers. When I used to work at Sutherland Communications, which is a cable company, one of the things that happened, they moved me over to a department one time and then a customer who I've been working with later on called and started looking for me. So those customers were really angry. They were mad because they couldn't communicate with me. However, there was nothing I could do because it was the company policy that after I was moved away from that department, I can no longer communicate with those customers. So this is an issue with management. Imagine if they told people all these things ahead of time, then I can bet you one thing, a lot of people wouldn't have bought season four for division two. So they knew what they were doing. So even if the devs want to talk, they cannot do it on their social media because companies are always watching. Now I'm sure everyone was ordered to be radio silent. So that is part of the problem. So what does this mean for state of the game in the future of division two? I'll be honest with you, when it comes to content for 2021 and 2022, you might not see anything maybe till the end of this year or early next year. Now, if you're looking for state of the game, you know the vibes, a really wonderful content creator. He has his own state of the game on Twitch. Every Fridays, he invites a lot of content creators and they have a chat and discussion about this game. And that is, I have to say, it's, it's a lot more better and quite interesting than the ones that we've had with some of the developers most of the time, if we are just being honest with ourselves. Anyways, let me hear your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.